Hey Cancer Gang, what's up y'all? Welcome to the channel. Welcome back. If you've been here before, how y'all feeling Cancer? I hope y'all are doing amazing. Let's get into your reading. This is my rising sign. I have three Cancer uh, placements in my chart. My Mars, my rising, and I want to say my Jupiter. I don't even know if that means anything, but whatever. Let's get into this y'all. So let's see. Okay, let's try that again. We're going to pull three cards for you. I just want to pull for you for some reason. We have recognition number 32. Ooh. So some of y'all are about to be recognizing your career. Some of y'all could be in the spotlight. Because I don't know. Th these cards are not the traditional tarot deck, but they kind of coincide with it. So I don't know if to read that as like the six of wands or like the three of um, pentacles. But I feel like some, some recognition and reward in your career. So some of you may be in the spotlight. We have fun. Number 14. Oh, you got the most beautiful card. That's the sun in this deck. Some of you are on the Cancer Leo cusp. Because you got two, two cards representing Leo energy. What else do we have here? Haste. Number 40. Some of y'all could be feeling a bit impatient about something. Impulsive about something. Libra, Aquarius, Gemini energy. Maybe you're waiting for some kind of communication or a visit from someone. Confidence. Hmm. This is the strength card number seven. Leo energy. <laughs> you got a lot of Leo in your life. All right, let's get into recognition. What's recognition for the Cancer Collective? Guilt and sabotage. Okay, well, wait a minute. Wait a minute now. It's Aquarius energy. Or maybe Gemini. Some of y'all could be on the Gemini Cancer cusp. We have North Node Cosmic and Purpose. See, I told you, you're being recognized for what it is that you were sent here to do. Some of you are living in your purpose. You've recently mastered something. You're leveling up, baby. Somebody around you is jealous. Maybe trying to sabotage this. Could be someone you you maybe... How do you say this? Like, say you were, you were up for a promotion. You were up for something, some kind of job, and you had to beat out the competition. I feel like you did. And I feel like it's because this is a part of your higher purpose. It wasn't a part of their higher purpose. And somebody tried to sabotage it. They wanted to win at all costs. And maybe, maybe, just maybe they felt guilty, but they still did something behind your back to try to sabotage it. But guess what? You can't block what God had for, for somebody else. We have um sun, the sun card, which is fun. Having fun. The most positive outcome, you just in your winning season. You feel the happiest you've ever felt. And we have the Ace of Pentacles. So this is in your career. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. This has something to do with a job, a new job, a promotion, new car, new home, some kind of elevation when it comes to your material success. If this has not happened yet, Cancer, I told y'all y'all was y'all were getting to the the um pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. I already told y'all. Look, somebody around you act like they're happy for you, but they're not. It could be an Aquarius. Wearing a mask. Somebody's acting like they're happy for you, but they're not. Because you're in your winning season and they're jealous. <laughs> I'm jealous. All right, so we have haste. Nurture and compassion. Okay. Some of y'all could be nurses in, in health care. You could do some kind of care job. Or some of y'all could be psychics. You could be into divination. You could be into something that has to do with like problem solving. We got twin flames. Oh, some of y'all, there's somebody coming. A Libra, Aquarius, a Gemini, an Aries, a Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio. If you're not in a connection, there's a twin flame connection coming in there. Oh, this person going to be in love with you. In love with you. We got confidence with divine masculine. There's your divine masculine right there with twin flames. So you're the divine feminine. Divine masculine is on his way. If you don't already have him, have him in your life, it could be an Aries. He or she could be an Aries, could be a Leo. This person is going to be very protective over you. Very protective over you. Why am I picking these cards up? I need tarot. Let's get some tarot. Show me this recognition. Oh, baby, the spotlight is shining on you. Oh, yes, mastery. You have mastered something. Some of y'all could have started your own business. This is Virgo energy, the eight of pentacles. Manifestation, baby, the light at the end of the tunnel. Look at this light shining. Look at that star energy on her. You just do not understand your money, your money, your money. You know, Cancer is my... Is Cancer my second house? No, it's Gemini is my, my second house. I don't know how to do this. I always thought cancer was my, my second house. 
Whatever the case is my rising. And I'm going to take it. I'm going to take this for myself. I hope y'all don't mind. I hope y'all don't mind. All right. So we have the seven of cups. Okay. So cancer. This is Scorpio energy. What I will tell you is some of you, whatever it is that you recently mastered, if you got some kind of degree, you got some type of certification, whatever it might be, or even in your own business, be very leery of mm, having rose colored glasses on. So if you get presented with things that seem too good to be true, do your due diligence, right? Because with this guilt and sabotage, I just think you have to watch out for someone around you who might be trying to pull an okie dokie, okie dokie, okie doke on you. And so, yeah, this is all about you doing things in very measured steps, right? Being, um, it's about choosing wisely because your, your judgment might be a bit clouded on something. Even though you've mastered something in your, in your career, it could be some kind of red tape somebody's trying to put on a situation or they're just trying to throw a monkey wrench in whatever it is that happened for you in the positive. So just be, be leery of that. But they can't stop what God has for you. Show me this. Yeah, because we got this person wearing this mask. Just be careful of also taking on too much, working too much, just signing up for too much and you can't really live up to it. Show me the sun with this money. Show me the sun with the money. The sun. Three of pentacles. You can't make it up. That's where we started. Baby, what y'all got going on in y'all career? Or with your money? Capricorn energy. Oh, wee. Some of y'all also could be falling in love with somebody that you're about to start working with. Mm. Or you're going to meet them in a work capacity. Who did I tell this to? I think Aries got that same. Was it Aries? No, that wasn't Aries. That was Aquarius. It was somebody a long time ago. I think it was Aquarius. Okay, so let's see. Wheel of Fortune, baby. Luck is on your side. Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius, Taurus, Energy. Don't know if these signs mean anything to you. But baby, the wheel is spinning in your favor. The spotlight is on you. Rewards and recognition. Money. Success. Prosperity, movement, positive movement, okay? God is blessing you in this moment because God says it's time. May not have happened when you wanted it to, but it's happening right now. Show me, um, wow. Very difficult to hear. Y'all got the ace of pentacles. I want to, can, can I hold a dollar? Because y'all got the ace of pentacles coming out again in a total different deck. Jesus Christ, wow. So, not only are you, is your career going to be thriving, but this is clarifying the twin flames with this nurturing energy. Look how he loving on her. This is going to be like one of them old-fashioned love stories, baby. Old-fashioned. And this is going to be somebody with some money. I'm telling you, if y'all got some kind of promotion, this person is going to be at least on your level. They might be even more prosperous than you. This is a stable, solid connection. This is a power couple. This card represents a new opportunity. It represents two people coming together in love, two people coming together in a very stable, solid, secure connection. A Taurus, a Virgo, a Capricorn for some of y'all. Oh, baby, and it's coming quick. You got the, the um, third fastest tarot card here with the Knight of Swords, and you got the fastest with the Chariot. Y'all are making so much progress because of your determination. This also represents a car. This can represent a new car. It's a new car in your future. Look at this wheel, this tire behind him here. Some travel is implied with the Wheel of Fortune and the Chariot. Y'all going to be going on trips. Bottom of the deck, we got the Nine of Wands because you put in the work. And this is the reason why you can be confident. Sagittarius energy. All right, this is the reason why you can be confident. Because you put in the work. You made the sacrifices. New beginning. What did I tell y'all? A new beginning. You got a new beginning. Wow. Confidence. The strength card. The strength card is here. The strength card is number eight. It's not number seven. Why did I call it number seven? I don't know why they have it labeled as number 11 here. That's the justice card. But yeah. Strength card is coming out. Some of you are going to be connected to a Leo. We got Aquarius. Sagittarius. Oh, I'm going to stop right there. And I'm going to get some messages. And then we're going to end this. Messages in the time frame where you can look forward to all these beautiful blessings because when I tell you they are plentiful. This is the most beautiful reading. Y'all been getting the most beautiful readings and I'm so happy for y'all. Let's get some messages. I don't know why y'all would need these messages from. I don't know if I should get these for y'all. I feel like I should use a different deck for y'all. I really do because I'm not seeing anything about a past love situation here. 
This is about new love. I'm going to get a different deck. And I'm just going to get some general messages for y'all. Hold on. Yeah, I'm going to pull out. I'm going to pull out the big guns. I'm going to pull out my um my own oracles. Because this is about. These are just general messages. I should have got the career and finances too. But I don't think we even need any more about that. Some of y'all got a promotion or a raise. Or a new position altogether. Some kind of financial um prosperity and abundance is manifesting for you you had the ace of pentacles twice let's get three messages for you cancer good news feel worthy and watch your bl your blessings race towards you at lightning speed what did i what, where's the chariot i told y'all that's what's happening your blessings are racing towards you at lightning speed rebounding you're getting back on your feet you're getting back on your feet you're finding your peace if you've been going through some hard times it's oh it's all turning around Eight of Pentacles comes out again. All right, so some of you are training and learning. We got apprenticeship, commission work, a new skill or passion, and uh, a new skill or passion discovered. It says patience, hard work, mastering a craft, apprentice, doing what you enjoy, and meaningful work. So you're going to be doing meaningful work that you enjoy. And the coin, the coin, coin, it's going to be nice. It's going to be real nice. Baby, it's going to be real nice. And some of you, like I said, it may have been a long time coming, but now is your moment. The moment is now. Now. Okay. But I am going to use this here to get a time frame of when you can expect these beautiful blessings to include this new love you got coming in on a hot day. It's going to be sometime this summer. It's coming quick. It says within two years at the bottom. So for some of you, it could be as far as two years, but it's going to be in the summer months, I believe, for you. I, I've been telling the collective between Cancer and Libra season, so many blessings, especially in love. So some of you, this is a twin flame coming in. I absolutely say the best for last. I did your reading last, and it's hands down the best. Chef's kiss. All right, y'all. Like, comment, subscribe. Hit that notification bell. And I will see you all when I see you all. Peace.